Yes lads and welcome back to the Jebu37 YouTube channel where today guys I am presenting you with more Wrexham FC content and what do I mean by that? Wrexham against Solihull Moors, Solihull still chasing for playoff positions, I mean they're in the playoffs as a no, I think they are anyway and Wrexham are obviously trying to put Stockport off the pace to be able to try and make up the points to win the league so where does that put me in position for predictions today? I think it'll be Wrexham 2, Solihull Moors 0. I think it'll be a good game, to be honest, I think, all round. It'll be exciting. It'll be something to watch a day that's fun. And yeah, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel, and make sure you tap that bell for more notifications for as and when I do upload. I'm also going to be there on Monday against Old Tringham, I believe, Wrexham are playing. So yeah, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the game, and I'll see you guys at the race course ground.
Oh, we fell in the box.
Yeah, but Everton go and appeal me for the Tories a penalty show. Yeah. Needs to be a couple of all this stuff to be fair. Solihull here at the race course ground, it's a number 7, safe from the keeper, the number 7 taps her in, so 1-0 Solihull here at the race course, so Wrexham 0, Solihull 1. Robo, Robo, what's your thoughts on today's game, mate? 
Um, well, I think my first thoughts disappointment. Obviously, um, it would have been it would have been brilliant given results elsewhere to get the three points. But in all honesty, like the last few games that I've seen, put on put on that sort of crest of a wave, and I think performance wise, we can take those from it. We created must have been 20 chances, good chances, um, and another day we'd have won five or six. So all positive for me. Yeah. So obviously that's my high flying at the moment, but today was obviously disappointing in terms of the one or result, you know, considering Stockport yeah. lost today. Where do you think that went wrong for Wrexham in terms of, you know, getting the one or draw instead of winning the game? I, I, don't, I don't think it went wrong. Uh, my opinion is, is that uh, performance-wise, chances created, that's what you have to look at and analyse afterwards. And I'm sure Phil and the rest of his staff will do that and they'll take lots from the game rather than being disappointed. I thank you so much for coming on the Jebo 37 channel. Pleasure. Obviously, best luck for Exxon for the rest thank of the you. season. Thank you. So I'm now joined by Ruth, the weather woman from ITV. <laughs> Ruth, what's your thoughts on today's game? Okay, so I've come to learn that the last few Wrexham games that I've seen and been at, you have to wait until like the last 10 minutes for like stuff to happen. Yeah. So today I was like, oh, okay. Um, when it went to one all, I was bothered and I thought, okay, we're going to come out of this. Okay, we didn't come out of it, but that's okay because we're not going down, we're fine, and we've got points, so it's okay. I was a bit worried, but I'm happy that we got the result that we did. We could have gone one out more, but okay, it's good Friday, and we'll, we'll let rest go. So where did you feel like went wrong for Wrexham today? <laughs> Sunshine always. <laughs> so in terms of like what today's game and like obviously yeah. the one all result. Yeah. Did you feel like it went wrong for Wrexham today or did you feel like the one all result was fair? I think actually we were pretty it, it was I felt and I'm not an expert on football but I kinda of felt there was it was quite bad tempered and I'm not kind of a massive fan of that because I think it's a game and it's sport and we're all trying to do our best and win. Um if you're asking me who is the best team, I'm always going to say Wrexham is the best team yeah. because that's where my heart is. So <laughs> I wish that we had got that extra one. I wish Mullen, I wish that we could have done it. But we didn't, but that's okay. It could have been North Lotworth. So have you got any more games you plan on coming to this season? Or? Oh gosh, yeah. So the next game we're going to is Wembley. Um, yeah. We should be there. It's my birthday, so that's my birthday present. We're going to Wembley. So happy birthday for the Thank terms you. of Wembley. I'm, I'm going to be there myself, so... I'm, I'm going to be 21, obviously. <laughs> times, times maybe a bit, but yeah, no, that's my birthday present. So now she's turning into the same age as me overnight, <laughs> but... Do you reckon that um, Rexham can beat Bromley at Wembley or...? I think we're in a good chance. I really think we're in a good chance. Do you see it go into extra time or do you reckon it'll be settled in the well, 90 minutes? Well, if Rexham are on form, then it's definitely going to go to extra time because they like to keep us hanging on to the, like, the last 10 minutes. OK, thank you so much for coming on the Jebo 37 channel. Love to Enjoy meet you. the rest of your time. So, guys, I'm now, or well, it's the next day, the next morning, whatever you want to call it, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, we're back from Wrexham. Um, a one all draw, is that a fair result? I'd say so. I feel like the, uh, the midfield battle was very, very scrappy. And what I mean by that is, I mean, in my opinion, for Wrexham to win the game, I don't, felt like, like, don't feel like they pressed enough in the certain positions. You know, obviously in that midfield, you know, if it wasn't for the throwing, in all honesty, the toes of took up went into Ollie Palmer's head. Then. I don't know, I think Solo Hall probably would have won that in all honesty and that's what I said to everyone that I've spoken to um, as a whole yesterday. But if you have enjoyed the vlog anyway guys, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell for more notifications as and when I do upload. And I'll see you guys on Monday at the race course.